बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जगत की बहुत नेक्स्ट वीक फ्रॉम डीएम के श्री जी एस पुन थैंक यू चेयरपर्सन सर फॉर अलाउंग मी टू स्पीक ऑन द डिमांड्स फॉर ग्रांड्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री इन रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे बजट इज नेचुरली कॉल स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अकाउंट दैट इज अमाउंट ऑफ रेवेन्यू टू बी जनरेटेड एंड अमाउंट फॉर एक्सपेंडिचर but the budget for 2022 and 23 does not speak anything about this it is just an echo of the government still towards the corporates and the big business houses correct, correct. it gives a heavy motivation to the private sector and neglects the middle class and social sectors sir at the time when the india suffered the covid pandemic all sectors of people were affected the unorganized sector was the worst hit which had led to huge unemployment and the reserve bank of india announced a moratorium on loan and on payments in 2020 and the union government's atmanirbhar bharat program was talked about but there was hardly any follow through in 2021 and 2022 even now the budget has laid of course a foundation for large investments in infrastructure to flow under public private partnership but roads and highways are dependent on the states for making available the land and the states have not been taken into confidence and consideration several state led projects were not been supported by the union government hikes have been announced in capital expenditure as well as push on the expansion of the national highway network by adding 25000 kilometers to it the finance minister also announced the gati shakti master plan for infrastructure development and a master plan for express ways to boost economic growth for next financial year regarding the allocation of road transport and highways in the budget it is mentioned that pm gati shakti master plan for express way will be formulated in 2022 23 the national highways network will be expanded by 25000 kilometers in 2022 23 the ministry of Ra road transport and highways formulates and administers policies for road transport and transport research it is also involved with the construction and maintenance of the national highways through the national highways authority of india nahai and the national highways and infrastructure development corporation limited in 2022 23 the ministry of road transport and highways has been allocated nearly rupees 68000 crore more than the revised expenditure in 2021 22 as as of november 2021 nahai total debt stood at rupees 3.38 lakh crore which is nearly 150% more than the allocation to nahai in 2022-23 in the budget speech in 2021 2020-21 the finance minister made several announcements for the road sector including awarding 8500 km and constructing another 11000 km of nh corridors but never mentioned how many has been completed till now in our budget speech in 2020-22 the finance minister announced that march the nh network will be expanded by 25000 km our honorable chief minister of tamil nadu talavadi mk stalin has requested the union government for declaring eight state roads that is tiruvannamalai kallakurichi valliyur tiruchendur kollegal harur mm hillas palar dharapuram arkadu dindivanam metupalayam to bhavani avinashi to metupalayam and bhavani to karur as national highways as approval have already been accorded in principle has been granted by road transport and highways ministry proposal for declaration of these roads have been presented to minister of road transport on 6th december 2018 but formal notification for the declaration of these roads as national highways are yet to be issued i request the minister to approve this immediately sir I, I wish to bring a very important issue regarding incomplete four four way national highway nh79 track between ulundurpet and selam which is in my kallakurchi constituency this national highway project estimated at a cost of 941 crores was started in july 2008 and has been complete uh, incom completed in 2013 september the work is incomplete for eight bypass roads at congested towns like athur vaalapadi tyagadurvam elavanasur so due to uh, due to the delay in completion of this nh4 daily accidents are taking place more than 800 people lost their life in past 10 years 
I have raised this issue several times in this August House, but nothing has been happening till now. Sir, at this moment of the great tragedy, I want to press for an early completion of the four-way national highway lying incomplete for more than 10 years. Union government says it is very keen in developing infrastructure of the country. National highway connecting Salem and Chennai via Ulundurpet and Velupram is very vital as it facilitates large number of small-scale, medium-scale industries existing in Salem, Namakkal, Kadalur and Vilupram. Sir, I also draw your kind attention that the proposed Salem-Chennai eight-way green fast track will put farmers to lots of hardships. There is already three national highway connecting Salem to Chennai. NH48 and NH2 goes from Chennai via Kanjiburam. Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri to Salem and the distance is 357 kilometers. And it is already a six-way track. So it would be a better idea if all the three three tracks or any of them could be upgraded and extended to facilitate the fast track from Salem to Chennai. So I request all the Minister for Road Transport and Highways to abandon the Salem-Chennai eight-way track. Sir, another disturbing news is increase of toll gates. The union government is set to install six new toll gates in Tamil Nadu, two toll gates, each one on Villur, Thiruvannamalai, Vilupram stage of NH-234, Kadalur, Virdhachalam, Salem section, NH-532, Avinashi and Avinashi Palayam section, NH-381, Perambulur, Tanjavur section, NH-226E, to have one gate each. Sir, increase of more toll gates will increase transportation cost, which will again affect the common man, causing hardships on local residents. Naga has already hiked toll gate fee by 4% to 21%, which leads to rising prices of residential commodities and also affect the transportation of raw materials across the state. So the union budget 2020-23 is hugely, hugely disappointing, mainly to Tamil Nadu, as it has not provided the pending GST compensation and also not sanctioned funds for screams and relief for meeting losses incurred during the recent floods in Tamil Nadu. So GST due for Tamil Nadu is around 16,728 crores, and rupees 8,997 crores is still pending under the National Disaster Relief Fund. There is also no funding for Tamil Nadu government's project proposals, which clearly shows partiality towards non-BJP ruling states. Our Honorable Chief Minister, the MK Stalin, has met the Prime Minister with written many letters and stressed the union government regarding this frequently, but the union government has not, not responded favorably. Then, sir, finally, through you, I request the government should speed up the national highways, NH79 road connecting Salem and Ulundurpet, lying unfinished for several years, and other pending projects in Kalakurchi, and the demands for upgrading of eight roads as national highways and release the pending GST dues, as requested by our Honorable Chief Minister. And I conclude with the words of my leader and Honorable Chief Minister, Nangal Yengal Nilay Party Lirindu, Vilagamato, Nangal Yengal Mani La Urimegalai, Vitukurgamato, Yenda Savalim, Yedrigolvom. I would like to translate this in English. We will not budge from, your, from our stand. We will not cede our state's right and we will face any challenge. Thank you, sir. Thank you.